everybody, welcome back to Reboot Leggers. This is a comedy podcast where we create illegal, underground, I- ill... Illogical. Illogical reboots, there we go. I'm Scott Owen. I'm Frank Sarah. And today we're talking about Dragon Ball Z. Normally I try to really, for some reason, tease up to it, but uh, you've already seen the title of the episode, and I figure I'm not going to waste my time or yours. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing, and I'm really excited about it, because... Uh, you know, it's Dragon Ball Z. Everybody loves it. Everybody knows it. It's the... If you don't, pause. Go to YouTube. But you we'll do. See t- we'll see you in ten minutes. But you do know it. But you probably do. Dragon Ball Z is a show that I love, that I have seen maybe six episodes total of, which is weird. And yet you know a surprising amount of I know of a its ton content. of this. this was, it was, so it was on in the you know, late 90s, right? Yeah. And this was just, it was only on cable originally. I didn't have cable, but like all my friends did. And so we just talked about it a ton and I would buy the toys and stuff. And the few episodes I saw, I freaking loved because of course I did. It's an anime about dudes with cool hair who can fly and shoot energy balls. And I was into that. And so I learned a lot about it despite like only seeing a handful of episodes. And it, it, it is a, what could you call it? A, movement a way of life it is a, a unending force because mm-hmm. it is an going. eternal struggle of light versus evil but with space and aliens there are space yeah. aliens it's weird because it's like space and it's magic most, yeah it's space magic with super science are and there space, robots there are space sh- ships mm-hmm. robots who look like people or look like not people but they people look like they're are also able to fly into space Yes, but only As some well. people. Let's maybe let's get into a, a more just uh, concrete summary. So first of all, Frank, pe- the, for those people who did just take that brief second to go in and Google this, they they will have discovered that there are several different many, shows, many different to shows. be found, millions of video games and stuff. Trillions, so even. are we dealing with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball? Super? Dragon Ball Z Super? Super. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with straight Dragon Ball Z, which is the one from all of our childhoods. And that's the TV show from our childhoods that succeeded the TV show Dragon Ball. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Z. Dragon Ball Z. Z. Is the one we're talking about. It's kind of the pinnacle, the peak of the mountain. The, the, The tip of the iceberg. Well... Yeah. No, that's actually the opposite. In a way. Icebergs are more opposite of mountains where oh, yeah. they got the It's all the, the rest beneath. but the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, the meat beneath is a phrase that I so, said. Dragon Ball Z is the the swan song of the Saiyan people is what I is how I would phrase it. And this. the Saiyans are aliens from the planet Vegeta, which is also a guy's name. Also the name of, yeah, that's, that's this whole other thing, but yes. Um, a character in the show is named the name of the planet. Like, if there was a guy in one of our TV shows named Earth. I bet there is. There probably is in some way. Somewhere. And so we have, we have Goku, full name Son Goku. Uh, he's a Saiyan, but he's been living on Earth for a long time because he landed on Earth because a ship crashed when he was a child. Now, what makes Saiyans different from humans? They battle. That's it. They have they have in they have crazy battle strength, and every time they uh, almost die, every time they reach the brink of death, this is all real. Every time a Saiyan uh, lives through something that should kill them, they become strong enough to survive that thing next time so literally what doesn't kill you makes you stronger in this case yeah and for saiyans that's real they're like the ultimate they're the ultimate battle race and they look exactly like humans except they do have tails and can turn into giant monkeys they do have tails is it the full moon or just in general just whenever they want I think it's a full moon if you're angry. So wear monkey, wear gorillas, because they're like unless giant. your tail gets chopped off, which did happen to Goku. It did, but then sometimes you can grow one back because that happened to somebody. Yeah, 
That happens in GT, though. Oh, well, screw GT. GT is non-canonical. And so nobody come at us with your mm-hmm. tweets about, well, in GT, we don't, it's not real. We don't count. No it. one wants to hear about GT. Nobody wants the, to hear the about creator, GT. The creator left. They wanted to keep making the show to make money. They made Dragon Ball GT. It was bad. Everyone forgets that it happened. Everyone forgets that it happened. Now, so you've got Saiyans who battle. And it's, so Goku, it's mostly about him just defending the Earth from different threats. Yes. Various threats. So it, it's kind of becomes a cycle. So the first the first villain that lands are fellow Saiyans who, who are, are looking for Goku. Because it turns out the Saiyans are actually a very, are like a warmongering evil race, it turns out. And Goku's like, yeah, and only Goku good. was nice because he grew up with humans. Yeah. And so they land, and then Goku has to beat them. And then they have a, the, the next villain is an alien named Frieza, who's a world conqueror. And then something weird happens because the next, like, three villains in the series only come to earth because they heard that that's where goku lives and so he kind of defends the earth but he's also the reason they keep attacking it yeah it's a really weird like it's it's the whole so obviously they people don't really want to conquer planets people just want the belt about just, being right. the strongest yes it becomes very much about like i just want to fight and be strong and fight and so like i remember there's often a lot of tension between goku and his wife who just wants him to stop fighting so that their son can go to school and goku yeah. just wants to fight and get stronger um goku's son gohan who was my favorite character because he is cool and don't forget goku's best human friend krillin yeah, who is bald and has no nose. And yeah, krillin is a normal human and he sucks he's so bad at fighting now the other normal humans include Yamcha, who is also not great. Mm-mm. And that's it. Who? What, there's a guy with three eyes. His name is Tien. I don't know what his deal yeah, is. I've he never is known what his not deal a is. human, but he still is bad. Yeah. And then there's Chao Tzu, who is not a human, but and is also bad at fighting. And these are people who are less important people. They're characters that carry over from the original Dragon Ball. Like, they were his friends growing up. Yeah. And then they kind of become immediately irrelevant in Dragon Ball Z, but they're still around sometimes. Yeah, the thing that you need to take away is that the Saiyans can make their hair stand up very spiky and turn blonde in what is called being Mm -hmm. Super Saiyan. And you get very strong. And there (laughs) there are Dragon Balls, which are seven... Giant, I guess they're like gemstones, kind of. They're like these giant. Yeah, yeah. Balls. They're kind of like large crystal spheres. And if you if you collect all seven of them, you get to summon the great dragon, who then grants you one single wish. Unless you're on another planet, and they they have a different dragon who operates on each different planet rules. has a great dragon, and each planet has its own set of dragon balls. Yeah, and some some and the reason for this have... is never even remotely. No one even asks. Yeah, why. it's just the universal constant. The planetary constant is dragon balls and dragon. And some some planets you get more than one wish, but on Earth you get the one wish. Mm-hmm. And, and there's different power levels. Like on Earth, you get one wish, and you can do like anything. And then on other planets is like you get three wishes, but like they're weaker. Yeah, and the and wishes like are that. often used to just resurrect everyone who has died, because mm-hmm. people die a lot in this. And then they, and you you did mention power levels, and those are also important for the individual because characters. they're literal. They're literal. There is no unit of power. It's just they'll throw out numbers regarding characters' yeah. power levels, and you just like go with it. Like, I will look at Scott, and then I'll, I'll touch my hand to my head, and I'll close my eyes, and I'll say, like, his power level is 214. Which is really low, and kind Which of insulting. really low. It's By a little the end insulting. of the series, they're in the millions. It's a little insulting that that would be my power level. and I mean, it's probably accurate. It just makes me not feel good about myself. But they never They explained. set a baseline earlier in the series as well, which is like a... A normal human being who is a black belt in karate is like a 40. Yeah, and I mean, that's partly because there's no accreditation process for black belt dojos, karate dojos. So really, literally anyone can be a black belt if you pay enough money. And that's been our scathing review of uh, current American martial arts systems. Yeah. um, Which are not present in dragon ball z mostly training involves the gravity chamber chamber yeah maybe let's let's just get into our yeah let's first just segment, let's just this let's is just what start. i'm gonna end there's up a doing. lot so we're there's gonna, a lot there's a, there is so much to unpack here so let's unpack it in our first segment called love it or leave it love me or leave me or let me be lonely 
And this is where we we go through and say, here's what we like, here's what we don't like for the reboot. We're gonna here's what we're keeping, here's what we're getting rid of. So Frank, you mentioned the gravity chambers. This is I did. Do you love them or hate them? Love. I the gravity also chamber. love the gravity chambers. The gravity chamber was it, quite literally. It was like a it was like a small it was like an extremely small one person apartment kind of size. Yeah. And you would you would go into it. Wasn't it bigger gravity, on the inside? Well, you, you like there, there they there was like a room in there because they would spend time in there. Too. All right, I guess apartments are bigger than what I'm envisioning. So yes, but so the gravity chamber had a gravity setting that you could turn up because it was super science. You get turned, and then you would stay in there, and you would just do like normal push ups and stuff, and then you would come out, and you would be ten times stronger than everyone else because you were tr- because you finally got to the point where at ten times gravity everything felt normal yes and that's not how that works but it is how it worked for your muscles this. got very good at big gravity so then when you come back to regular gravity you can jump and move so much quicker now mm-hmm. along with the gravity chamber is another thing that i do love and that's the hyperbolic time chamber which yes. is which is the most brilliant form of getting around things taking a long time so you know in the real mm-hmm. world it takes a very long time to get like in shape and stuff like that so Dragon Ball Z has the hyperbolic time chamber where you step in for maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes, but inside the time chamber, it takes a whole two years. So you get to train for two years in the time span of 10 minutes and then come and then out, come out be, and you're like, I'm and you're, ripped now. And your power level is higher and you're great. Yeah. It's all about power level. All about power level. Anything uh, to drive those numbers up is, is what you're going for. Anything to get those numbers up. Now, another thing that I do like, that I love is everybody the dragon balls we gotta the drag yeah gotta we're keeping keep the dragon, dragon balls. balls we're keeping both kinds of chambers now i don't do i love tell me you tell me if i like or don't like this frank do i like the insignificance of death because characters will die in this show characters and die a lot the first times they they die they'll die and like be gone but then later characters die and then you can just go visit them on another planet where they have a halo above their head and then they can actually come fight still they just have a halo yeah above their head. on this in, on on kai's planet who was the afterlife yeah but you can also go there if you're not dead you can also go there if you're alive but you live there if you're dead and if you're a dead halo man you can still like come back to earth and fight yeah you can get a vacation pass which is not a joke and is part of the cell saga a dead character gets a vacation pass to come back that's for, right for a day and his hair gets very long yeah because your hair gets bigger the more powerful you are yeah you don't stop yeah you um, don't need a haircut and it's not like samson because like no one cuts their hair no 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 god no so so tell me do i love that or do i leave that I think maybe the Dragon Balls can't bring people back in Ooh. ours. Ooh, that does make death. A maybe the more Dragon serious. Balls don't even don't even let you make any wish. Maybe well, we'll what talk is the about po- that. Okay, interesting. Um, here's another uh, a thing that I do love, and we absolutely have to keep is flying people. Yeah, and people on, can. And on top of that, shooting energy balls, I love energy balls, energy beams, destructo energy... discs. Destructo discs, soul bombs, all of these things. Spirit bombs, instant transmission. Finger finger death rays, which is Frieza has those. And Piccolo. And also, here's the other thing that I love. Piccolo has those Names that are thematic and puns. You have a character who's an alien named Piccolo, and he has siblings who are named like Drum and other things that I can't think of. And Glockenspiel. And Goku, his... That Goku is his Earth name. His Saiyan name is Kakarot, which it turns out is Japanese for carrot, right? I think so, yeah. And there's a villain named Garlic Jr. And Vegeta is vegetable. And there's a girl named Bulma, which is, I think, a pun on underpants. I think. Like bloomers. But then she has a yeah. son named Trunks and then a daughter named Bra, I'm pretty sure. Is that GT? I'm trying to remember now. It's like a th- real thing. There's like a family of people named yeah. after undergarments. So I want to keep that. So we're, we're going to keep the Pokemon-esque name structure. Indeed. Quite so. Very much. Yes. Things I don't like. Hit me. Far too many characters. Far too many characters. And you know what I realized? So here's the thing. As someone who has ne- not really watched many of these these shows, I did buy the newest Dragon Ball Fighters game. Fighter Z. Fighter Z on the Xbox and 
they all speak in Japanese, so it doesn't really help much, but I get a sense that there's a lot of fighting, and I like it. But a thing that I noticed when looking at the character roster, there are no girl fighters but one who is a robot, which is uh, fine. Yeah. She can be a robot. Android number 18. Well, yeah, Android number 18 is pretty much it, huh? Yeah, I'm not upset that she's a robot. I'm just upset that of this entire character roster, and this is with the show, there is every single like character who's capable of anything is a dude like goku's wife her whole thing is just to shout at him and to be mad like there's no cool girl character so are you thinking of a hillary swank karate kid situation maybe we do a hillary swank karate kid situation because i'd i'd be into that i could be into that as well i would love to you know make it not just a sausage fest let's get some cool ladies in there because here's the thing Dragon Ball Z is kind of the quintessential anime punching nerd. Show. Yeah, you're well, it's a punching show, but it's also the thing where it's like that guy's a dork. Of course he likes Dragon Ball Z. And it's like many boys who are afraid to talk to girls like that show, and that's a show that I feel like it's hard to talk to girls in your adolescence about because there's nothing there's no good girl characters in it. Yeah, you like if I could just if I could if I could roll up if I could roll up on on a, on a woman and I could say Boy, did you see that episode of the show that we made? Whatever yeah. we name it. Whatever we name it. Whatever we name it. And then they could be like, wow, yeah. And then I'd be like, all right. Yeah, because you know how that happens. So I think that's the thing that we could strive for, is maybe some more gender equality in the Dragon Ball Z, as they call it. Um, how do you feel about, do we keep the interplanetary travel? That depends on whether or not we're trying to ground things. I think... F- I think for the our first outing, we might want to keep the action on Earth, but we could still have aliens. We could have aliens who have come to Earth many, many iterations. Just different yeah. aliens show up to Earth the for whatever sci- reason. The, sci- the Saiyans could come. The sci- Saiyans. Saiyans could come. Yeah. Say and, what? And the Namekians, who are green and... Um, oh, they're green people. We got to have some of those, because you know we're not going to have the, the greatest budget. Those are like the only two. I mean, there's... There's yeah, there's those. like unnamed nondescript aliens where like there's only one of their kind you That's see true. in the show. You do see a lot of like blue skinned people with horns or like, but they don't, there's only two aliens who ever get like name drop races. Yeah. Um, but that said, I do like the, the, the idea of a world where like traveling between planets isn't a thing, but also nobody does it with spaceships. Everybody can just fly because they have. Yeah, the, everyone, uh, everyone, powers. once you reach a certain power level number that is not specified, mm-hmm. you can will yourself up into the air and then move about it like a bird mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. without moving any of your limbs. Like you just ascend. Yes. And then you can, you can like stand in place in the air and like plant your feet like you're on the ground. Yeah, and then you can shoot energy balls out of your very hands. Co- very confusing rules for flight. In the so, Dragon yeah, there's universe. flight, there's flying, there's hovering, there's, there's punching so fast that nobody can see your fists. Yeah, yeah, where, like, your arms, like, become blurs they become at your blurs. sides. Okay, so I think we have to keep the fighting, is the thing. Or do we, we have to keep the fighting. Or do we not? Like, do we make a show where it's about Dragon Ball Z, but, like, no one ever fights? But is that interesting? I don't Wait, think that's That would be kind of a letdown for, for the fans, wouldn't it? Yeah. A lot of people were really disappointed with the Power Rangers reboot because they didn't become Power Rangers until the very end. And, I mean, I get it. I thought it was fun, but I get it. Yeah, we don't want to make that mistake. Okay, there was a live-action Dragon Ball movie, and maybe there's nothing but fighting nonstop, and it's like a continuous shot, like Birdman. But like it's just one fight to the next. Okay, maybe, maybe we do that. I don't know. I don't know. Now, oh boy, there was a Dragon Ball movie. Do we talk about this? This live-action. Oh, there movie. was like a lot of. Oh, the live-action one. Dragon Ball Evolution. I think we only. We, we should only talk about it to Avoid. go over what we will never repeat. <coughs> sure. Okay. What else do we want to love and leave, or should we move on? I think we've loved and left. I think we've loved and left all that is going to be loved. Oh, the last thing that I love, capsules. In this world, you can, they have these little things. They're literally, they're like, they look like little pills, and you throw them at the ground, and then they poof into smoke, and suddenly there's a house there, and you get to live in that house, and it's fully furnished, and it's very cool. Yeah, and with all kinds of things, like like a motorbike or a basketball. Yeah, you can literally create anything. Food. Anything can fit into a capsule, and then you can break it and get it back out. 
Mm -hmm. And for some reason, when it's a capsule, it doesn't weigh a billion pounds. Yeah, it's magic, but science. Oh, we're also going to keep chi. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the concept of chi as as a, what you yeah. use focusing to your chi your is how you fly and shoot balls and all kinds of things and you get a like like a glowing aura around your body when you when you focus your chi mm-hmm. gotta get that glowing ball and of course we are going to keep the hair and the super saiyans and all that okay so let's get into our next segment this is called when and where where we talk about setting and genre specifically now we already talked about it's going to be on earth Mm -hmm. is this live action or are we doing cartoon i would like to do live action right okay if we can handle i would love to do live action dragon ball correct Uh, and a little bit more you know trim trim the extra characters make it a little bit more grounded sure 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 okay so then what is our what's our what's what are we going with this what's our genre how are we you know, we've got we've got the physical location of Earth, but what's our setting? Where are these characters interacting yep. with each other? So we we have a decision point. Hit me. Is this a reboot or is this a like descendant boot, you know? Cuz we can talk about Goku's great-granddaughter. Mm. Mm. Maybe they fight. I see what you're saying. So is it a, is it a, tra- a, a traditional reboot where we're starting over from the beginning? streamlining the whole process or is it a reboot where we're like hey it's been 10 years since we had a story about this let's pick up where the where their great grandkids are at yeah oh oh that's actually tough i say let's make it a traditional reboot because those are the names that are going to get the butts in the seats i think i think but also i don't want to have to come up with new character names also that so let's make it a traditional reboot. Now, that's not to say that we can't be a little uh, loosey-goosey with our genders and do some swapping mm-hmm. around and some, uh, you know, we can have fun with it. And if we are doing, right. if we're doing a Hillary Swank Karate Kid, that means Goku's got to be a girl. Or, Big time. Or Goku's so not Sun, the main character. So Sun Goku becomes Moon Goku. Now, but the Sun in Sun Goku is S-O-N, not S-U-N. I will ask you to desist until we are done naming our characters. Okay, go ahead. Moon Goku, who Moon, is Moon Goku, the the woman. The woman. Do you think? Yeah. Now, do we don't do we want to flip everybody or just some keys? Yeah. Do we want to like flip the other way where it's mostly ladies and just a couple dudes, or do we want to even it out? Here's the thing. Here's a thought. Uh, let's let's flip everyone and keep the names the same of course unless it like really doesn't make sense but i don't think we're in that situation i think we're pretty great yeah i think i think we're good yeah so we've got none none of these names are real names if we're doing it we gotta we're gonna have to streamline this a bit and yeah we can't have 20 main characters can't have 20 main characters so we want let's keep we definitely keep goku and uh, so at the beginning of this does goku have kids because goku's got kids in the show Goku does have kids. Maybe maybe not yet. Goku. Maybe this is a reboot but also a little bit a little bit farther back in time than the original Dragon Ball Z started. Okay, so Goku is she's not yet tied down so yeah. to speak. So I off off my off of my gut, off of my grumblies down here. Mm-hmm. The four characters that I would say we need to roll out with. Four, okay. Goku? Yeah. Vegeta? Yes. Krillin, because someone needs to suck. Someone needs to suck. Then, still Android 18, but now it's a dude. Okay, Android 18 is good. Android... Maybe we just use Android 17. Yeah, and... Android 17, who is Android 18's male brother. Now, I like that. I want. Do we want Piccolo? Oh, shoot. We need those alien aliens. Kill... Maybe we remove the android and Piccolo, but Piccolo's still a dude. Well, so we're not quite. We're getting into characters, really. Let's. We need to talk about like what's our setting. Where are these characters interacting? Who? What is? What's the? Do we? Do we want to tackle origin, or do we want to? Or do we want to just have invading aliens? Well, so so much of this show is basically like it. It they, it, it tries to be a like alien invading show where it's you know this interstellar thing that spans a galaxy or whatever where people are always trying to invade earth but really they just want to fight goku 
it's, just it's, it's, it's all they want to do is fight Goku and then leave again. Tw- I think only like twice have they actually done an arc where it's literally just a fight tournament. But that's basically what the whole show is, is is a fight tournament. So maybe we just make a movie where it's just a literal fight tournament. Okay. Like a, like a, like a, like, I'm afraid like a never I want to say yes, but I'm terrified that we already did this and I'm forgetting about it. We did do that. The, we rebooted a wrestling thing, didn't we? Maybe. The Rock. You know what? It doesn't matter man, anymore. Stone Cold Steve Austin had a wrestling tournament. Okay. That was a wrestling tournament. This is a battling tournament. Maybe they all go to like battle school. And then at the and, oh. then, and then okay, so they all go to battle school to learn how to fight and stuff. But then like the big, the big thing they're all working towards is the end of the year tournament where they will you know oh dude like the school festival yeah exactly it's like the talent show the the and the dragon balls are prizes yeah you gotta win the, there's the they they only gives. give out so there's. There's seven Dragon Balls and only seven. That means each. So each only seven students get to move on to fight, fight college or to like become professional. Oh, like, I've got it. It's the Triwizard Tournament. There are seven ooh, schools, seven schools, each with a Dragon Ball. Each winner of the seven schools goes to the real tournament, bringing their own ball, bringing their own ball who they seed to the victor. The person at the end has all seven dragons. Okay, so, so, okay. So that means Goku is just, oh, you're saying, so then every time you beat one of the other schools, you collect their ball? Yeah. So that, but that would mean that at, after each tournament, only one school has all seven balls, wouldn't it? Well, no, because you're forgetting the other thing. Once you use the Dragon Balls to make a wish, the, the Dragon back Balls to their fly schools. up into the air and they scatter. Right. So in the original show, they do scatter and you go have to hunt them down. I say now they just go back they to their return. original school. Yeah. Okay. So, so that means we could do we could do one of two things. We could have Goku either like she's doing her local her school's tournament just so that she can win the Dragon Ball and compete in the big tournament. Do we do the big tournament or do we do we do like the first half is her fighting for her Dragon Ball and then the second half is her like going to the actual tournament or do we like yes. split it up? Okay. No, no, I like that because then maybe maybe Piccolo and Vegeta are at other schools. Yeah, I like that. I was also going to suggest maybe Piccolo and Vegeta are just like transfer students to her school, but that was before you came up with your seven school idea. So I'm into this. Now we can say like Goku is... There's controversy around Goku, right? Because she is Saiyan, but she doesn't go to the Saiyan school. Oh, she can't afford it. Can't afford that fancy private school. Maybe just her parents are immigrants or something. Yeah, we can make it like a socioeconomic thing. Oh, I didn't necessarily mean... It doesn't hate... Yeah, maybe maybe she just... So the Saiyan school... Because she lives on Earth, right? Like she lives on Earth. I feel like you would just go to the school you live on. Yeah. There's some drama there. Does she even know she's Saiyan before she wins? Only if we decide that Saiyans don't have tails anymore. Maybe she gets hit by a truck. And then she becomes stronger than the truck. And they become stronger than the truck, yes! <laughs> okay, That's so we've got our setting. For. It's it's people fighting at, in, a, in a tournament. <laughs> and we'll make them like college age because I don't want to deal with the legal hoops of making a show, a yeah, live also, action movie I, about children fighting each other. I can't cast other. young people. I don't know any young people. I don't know any young people either. But I do know adults. To a degree. Love adults. To a degree. Okay. Um, so we're on Earth. We've what's the name of the fight school? Was it just fight school? Fight school colon Earth. And there's fight school. No, schools. let's let's make it a cute reference. Let's make it let's make it Toriyama Academy. Ah, because that's the guy who made the show. Because that's the guy that made the show. Toriyama Academy. And then um do we call Planet Vegeta Planet Vegeta or does it have a different name now? Maybe maybe it's maybe it's Maybe it's just like planet V. Planet V. Yeah. The fifth planet. Planet Se- It could just be Saiyan. The planet Saiya. Saiya. Yeah, because then they're Saiyan. Because then that would make sense why they're called Saiyans instead of just being separate things. Sure, we'll do yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Let Let's Let's just fix that little problem. Now yeah. seven schools. That's a lot. I, okay, so we, we could, only need to make three of them. Well, we could, that's true, but I think we could like you could have Frieza be a person from a school. Cell could be from a school. <gasps> The booze? Remember the booze? Yes, dude. We have we we have Boo School, the Cell Organization of Learning Students, okay. otherwise known as Calls. 
Yeah, Frieza. Well, Frieza, what's his race? Uh, I don't really think that's like ever said. Yeah, they don't ever like canonize what he is. Yeah, so Frieza will be. So Frieza, Frieza can be from, uh, uh, like cold, cold planet. School. Because his his name is Frieza, and his school was named like the Cold School of Fighting. Did you know that Frieza is originally he is a basically a real estate broker who forcibly takes over planets so that he can resell them? That's wow. the original creation of this character. He was based on he was created during a time of a Japanese economic bubble, and is Jeez. based on real estate speculators who Toriyama hated. That is really funny. Um, so Frieza is the rich kid school, but also so is Vegeta. So what do we, we've got Earth School, Seiya School, Namek, which is Piccolo's school, Cell, who, Cell is a robot who's also an alien, right? Yeah, he, he started out as a robot, and then he, like, evolved, and then, like, became mostly biological, kind of? Yeah, he's weird. And then we've got, um, Boo, spelled B-U-U, who is Majin Boo. he'll be the guy they send? Yeah, yeah, that'll definitely be Majin Buu. So he's like a living, animate piece of chewing gum. Yeah, that's basically what he looks like. He's, he's all, all pink stretchy and stretchy. And he's like, he's like, he's like fighting Gumby. Yeah, fighting Gumby. That's really good. Um, okay, I lost count. Frieza, Cell, Vegeta, that's five, Majin right? Buu, and then Earth is five. Frieza, Cell, Majin Buu. And I'm gonna scroll really Frieza, quick. Cell, Majin Buu, Vegeta, Earth, and then we've got Namek, and then you know what the last planet is, Frank? What is it? Android School android school fun fact the time between enrollment and tournament in the android school is one second dang because they just turn them on yeah 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 now do you want to know do you want to know who created boo do you know this i'm just learning about boo right now oh yeah then the in the show created by the evil warlock bibbity yeah, oh, because then he has... Uh, Bibbity's his... son, Bobbity. Bobbity, yeah. Oh my gosh, I do love, like, the over-seriousness yeah. of this show. And the juxtaposed... fact that all of, these are their, all of these are their names in Japanese, so they're referencing the English Cinderella phrase, Bibbity Bobbity boo Right, well, and, it, oh, and it's so funny, too, because it's just like, every they're all so serious, but then they're, like, saying these their names, names at like each other. Names. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good, all of this. Okay, we've got our setting. Fight school for the gifted. Seven fight schools. And they will have a tournament. So who can it we'll get into segment number the new we're we're gonna move on to our next segment called Who Can It Be Now? Who can it be now? And this is where we talk about characters and then we will also cast those characters. Now let's talk about this, Francis. Let's discuss. We got Goku. We've got Piccolo, who is a green alien from the planet Namek. We've got Vegeta, who is the planet from who's a from Saiya. Saiya. It, was a, it was a Saiya woman. Let's keep some of the. Let's keep Cell as a dude. Yeah, because it's a robot. Because it's a robot. We'll keep. Uh, we'll make Android Seventeen a dude because we're doing a swap. Frieza. Now here's the thing. Frieza was a very like effeminate dude. Should we make Frieza like a very butch woman now, or just leave Frieza? Or just so Frieza's Frieza's whole thing was like he He had many forms. Well yeah, he would level up his forms like a Pokemon. Yeah. But he was um he was the most like well spoken of the villains they fought. Like yeah. he was like he acted like he was a businessman, right. like kind of like a mobster type. Right. So what do you where do you want to go? Where where are you going I, with this? I could we could we we could go so many ways with this. Give me give me one way. Cause I'm having a hard time thinking of which way to go with this. Let's make it like let let's use the forms, right? So Frieza's first form is like a librarian, right? Mhm. Mm and then second form is all angry and it's like and it's like and it's like bodybuilder now. Cuz form 2 of Frieza is very beefy, form 1 is small. Yeah. Where it's like a Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, Frieza 3 looks not It's pretty much just a su super even more jacked version. Oh, right. Frieza third form is weird. He's got that weird head. He looks like an alien from Aliens. Yeah. And then third, final form, he's, like, really streamlined and cool. And that'll be, like, what? School principal? Yes. Okay. Um, let's cast as we go, because it's easier than... We, I think a thing we learned last time is it's really hard for us to come up with a bunch of characters and then go through them a second time. So, yeah, yeah. Goku, I'm thinking we can cast... And here's hear me out on this. 
I think we could cast Emmy Rossum. She played Bulma in the bad live action movie. Oh, and then that's like a that's like a fun redemptive moment. Yeah. And she could do good, I think. And she, she already fought in the movie. She already fought in the movie. She knows what's what. So, and we know that she can work with the material. She can work with the material. Um, okay, so then Piccolo. Are we going to CG the aliens or are we going to make up? Piccolo might have to be some CG aid because painting a person green just isn't that. I mean, it's doable, but yeah. It's doable. The antenna, though. Yeah, he does have, she she will have to have those. So, are we talking about maybe, who, so would you... Let's do, do we, let's do practical effects with puppetry antenna. Puppetry antenna, okay. Who, who would be a good alien lady? Because Piccolo is a lady now. Yeah, who plays, who can really just get under the green and really sell the emotion? Who do we like? I They're mean, typically bald. Who have we seen bald? We've seen two actresses. Who have played bald pretty well. Tilda Swinton. We've, yes, that's the and, first one I thought of. And who's the second one? And then from um from Doctor Who and the Avengers movies, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Karen Gillan. Karen Gillian. She could be also great. plays bald well. Yeah, let's make her Piccolo. That'd be great. I'm sure she'd yeah, be down yeah. to clown on that one too. She yeah, to be green instead of red would be pretty interesting, I think. When has she been red? She was red when she was in Guardians of the Galaxy. No, she was in fact blue. Is that is that true? Yeah. Hold on a second. Her name's Nebula. She's blue. Okay, well, um, I guess that's it for the show. I've <laughs> lost all credibility. Um, okay, so then who are we thinking for Vegeta? The lady, Vegeta. So v- Vegeta's angry, right? Yeah. So Vegeta, Vegeta yells a lot, and he goes like, Kakarot! Yep, that's correct. And he is constantly infuriated that goku is always one percent stronger than him Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that he just can't get on top that is correct so someone someone who can someone who can just yell someone who can who can just be like kakarot yeah who can be an angry lady what about um who would just go like (laughs) kakarot yeah you know yeah who can do that but like it is like a lady I'm thinking, yeah. what about, like, the thing about Vegeta, it, it, are we going to keep this, is that Vegeta, despite being, like, originally a villain, and then, like, Goku's main rival, Vegeta does end up becoming, like, a good friend, and they become, like, the two de facto main characters who get to do all the cool things. Yeah, yeah, it, it transitions, Vegeta transitions into main character status. So Vegeta's got to be, like, angry, but also, like, likable. Yeah, yeah, someone who can redeem themselves to the viewer. Okay, um, Anne Hathaway. You think we could pull that? I think we could pull that. I mean, I'm down. Let's try it. Anne Hathaway as Vegeta. I do, here's the thing, I want to leave Krillin as a dude, and he's got to be, like, flubby. Like, like Danny DeVito. I would love Danny DeVito if we could get a young Danny DeVito, because this is a... Danny Uh, DeVito. you've, You've just given, hold on. We could get Master Danny DeVito for Master Roshi, who we will now put in the show. Master Roshi is Danny DeVito. We're just going to slide that one in. Listeners, just um, Google Master Roshi. You'll get it. Go on. Let me just, let me just bald actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want like a young... How about yeah. that guy from... Uh, you know what? How about um, Nicol- Nicholas Holt? Is that his name? The guy who plays Beast? He's a, he's a bald guy in uh, Mad Max? Oh, let me Google him. He could be a Krillin. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, just dzz, give him one of those. Yeah, sure. Just buzz his head. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. For now he is. Go there's on. a problem. He's Krillin, but he's six three. Mm, we can do movie magic. We will absolutely CG him to Krillin be a little is short like boy. 4'10", tops. Yeah, he'll be a little short man for sure. Now, here's what I'm thinking for Frieza. Emma Watson. Full costume, practical effects. Yeah, I think she could do like smug, yeah. quiet, scary. Oh, she can totally do that. I think she'd nail it. Now freeze a second buff form. Do we actually make an actress swap for mm, it? No. I think it's the same actress every time, and she just changes clothes and gets, like, different. I'm in. She's got range. She's got range. Um, okay, Android 17, who is a dude? Yeah, now in the original, he's got a cowboy theme. He does? Him and Android 18. They do? Do we keep the cowboy theme? 
I didn't know they had a cowboy theme. Hell yeah, we keep the cowboy theme. Yeah, so he's got like the bandana. He's got like this the six shooter on the hip that he doesn't need to use because he he can kill people with his bare hands. I didn't know about any of this. Let's go with um hmm who's like a cowboy boy. Yeah, I want like a like a draw. Channing Tatum. <laughs> Oh, because Kingsman, he did Cowboys. Kingsman, he did Cowboys, and we got not enough of him. And he's got the chiseled. So when you're designing a perfect fighting robot, you want them to be. You, you want, want them to be, to be an Adonis and a, a gorgeous yeah, specimen. Ch- Channing Tatum just has the cut features. That got we're the cut for. features. Okay. What else? And we- I, I would love to see him wearing a bandana. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to. Okay. What, what other planets do we need? We got to do Cell and we've got to do. Is that it? Oh, Boo. Cell and Majin Buu. Cell and Majin Buu. Okay, here's who I'm thinking for Cell. Now, Cell has a superiority complex. He he is a product of guided evolution uh-huh. and believes that he is the ultimate life form. Is Cell still a dude or a Cell a lady now who believes she's the ultimate life form? I think Cell might be a dude and we can turn it into like also a misogyny angle of his villainy. Okay, so Cell can be... Like super smarmy. Who... Um, Mark Strong. Mark Strong. I love Mark Strong. That would be good. Because Cell's also like... Part of Cell's thing is that he's so like... He's very scary because he's so much stronger than everyone else. So if these are all like kids and then Cell is still supposed to be a kid, but he's like full adult Mark Strong. Yeah, but he's like a 40-year-old man. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, Majin Buu. Yeah, this is a little iffier, right? Because Majin Buu is like not even technically like... a. Uh, Humanoid. Majin Buu like is kind he, of a wild. Well, but he is humanoid because he's got. Well, he arms chooses and legs. to have arms and legs, but he he can He's he's a piece of. What's Majin Buu's gum. personality? Is is he like he's like kind of the wild it's card? He's tough. like the carnage symbiote kind yeah, of, where he, he just like wants to be bad. He acts like a child, and he has no like morals, and so like, and he's very strong, right? So like he he wants a lollipop, and so he breaks down the front wall of a candy store, and he takes the lollipops. And then when a guy tries to stop him, he kills. He the guy. punches him in the face and just punches his head all the way off by accident. Again, but now he's eating the candy. But he's also like evil, right? Or is he just immature and sort dumb? of? Okay, either he's way, like, he's he's immature and like doesn't know right and wrong. Margot Robbie. Yeah. Okay. Nailed it. Majin Buu's a, a girl now. Yeah, she does crazy. I did see on this list Marion Cotillard, and I don't know if we can get her, but I do love her. I don't know what we would cast her as. The 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 an- the announcer in all the fights. The great dragon. The announcer would be cool. Or like as Bulma, we make Bulma a teacher or something. A scientist. Oh, that would be cute. Bulma is a scientist in the show. That's like her thing, kind of. So maybe we we, we like age her up, and she's just yeah, like a scientist. She's an off screen scientist. Yeah, she's just there. I just want Marion Cotillard in this in this. Um, okay, let's get into our final segment then. This is a great, this is a great cast. I'm very excited about this. Okay, final segment called What's Going On? What's going on? What's going on? And this is where we just nail down the plot. This is, this is a movie. We've got our setting, fight school, seven fight schools. So, walk me through some beats, Frank. Does Goku... Has Goku always gone to this school? Is she getting recruited? Is this like her freshman year? Is this like she is? Are oh, we doing a karate you know it's kid? New kid in town. Are we doing a new you kid in know town? No, it's new kid in town as an homage to the Karate Kid origins. Okay, so where she's new kid in town, like literally this new city, because she yeah. she doesn't know she's a Saiyan, right? Maybe she does. Maybe she does, and she's just the new kid, and she's just the new kid because her grandma has who she lives with move moved her away yes was goku's grandma a a, a grandpa a dude or a or a human or a saiyan he was a human right who just found baby goku master master roshi is a human that adopted baby goku no 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 not uh go goku's grand he calls him grandfather his name's gohan like he he's he named his son oh yeah yeah. grandpa gohan is just a human who taught him karate right okay so maybe we do a similar thing we can even do a little superman nonsense where it's just like she just like i don't know she i don't know where i'm she assumes she's human she was just adopted like that's all she knows is that she was adopted she's adopted and she knows that that one time when that truck hit her she got up. She got stronger than the truck. And then she got stronger than the truck. I, w- I want that to become a thing that, like... Me too. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, someone, like, 
someone like is pulling a prank on her, right? And they like swing a two by four, and then she just she just honks at them in the truck. <laughs> So, not only now is she stronger than a truck, she now has the attributes of a the truck. Truck's abilities. She gained the truck's abilities. Okay. <laughs> one 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 ridiculous thing that I do like that I want to keep is that the original writer established that Saiyan's hair, when they are born, they are born with one length and it never changes. Length and shape, and their hair never changes. And I don't know if that's just because he didn't want to ever have to draw their hair differently, even though it's an anime and that's never been a thing. Or if he just thought it would be funny. But either way, I want that to be a thing where Goku's hair is ridiculously cool. I want to know. I yeah. want to. What I want to figure out in, in the making of this movie, if even if everything else about it is bad, I want to know if we can make anime hair look cool on a real person. Yeah, we could definitely get the crew from the Broadway show hair up in here. Mm-hmm. And so she will just have this hair that is very cool and has never changed her entire life. It is very cool. And she's just like, yeah, I don't know. My hair is weird. Uh, so then, so she's the new so kid. She's the new kid in school. And she doesn't, she's not looking for friends. Did she get into fight school because maybe she fought some bullies in an alleyway and then Master Roshi saw her and was like, you should come to fight school? Oh, yes, dude. She's doing like a kind of vigilante ish thing ever since she got truck power. Or she just said, so, so she's gotten truck power prior to the, <laughs> prior to fight school. I think she got truck power when she was like 11. Okay. It's like in her flashback origin montage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People call her stronger than a truck and it's like not, not a, yeah, they not call a, a truck metaphor. Please, but yeah. Not a metaphor. It's like literally stronger than a truck. Okay. So she, so first half of the movie is her just dealing with the, drama and nonsense of being at a school yeah and we'll but ma- she does make two unlikely friends right and th- that is krillin and scientist bulma who's the other one? Oh, I, oh, it is just krillin it's just the one yeah her good friend krillin who's like a he's he's a friend and like there's no weird tension there he's They're just both best like friend rejects, krillin. right yeah both just best friend krillin and he so they ha- they do have classes but their classes are all like power level calculations and like yeah like stances krillin is bad at fighting but helps goku yes like learn the ropes yes he's bad at fighting but good at like the head stuff so he helps her her whole thing is like i don't know i'm just getting stronger and he's like well you need to understand yeah, I, what's I going on i just know that if this truck came at me i'd win right so then they're gonna have to learn there's a class about like channeling your chi there is flight basic class there's yeah energy ball and then we pretty quickly get to the tournament yeah so then we get to so then they find out like she finds out about the tournament and they're like oh first years never get to go to that anyway but you know she's really good at it but you can qualify so she does have to beat other earth people to get the drag to to win the right to fight in the tournament and that will be like we'll show some fights but that won't be like the big thing like i don't know just is she gonna have like a school bully who she has to beat or is that gonna be vegeta at the tournament I think that's going to be Vegeta. I, here's here's the structure that I that I think I'd like to see. Mm-hmm. So they uh, Goku Goku easily wins. She has the strength of a truck. And no one's putting anything up against her. <laughs> uh, she she easily wins the in school tournament to be who represents the Earth School. But then while they're while they're all like they go to the next they go to like a new town that all the tournament winners are going to for the tournament, right? And they they go so to like she's out got, walking. They, they one live night. in Olympic Village or whatever. Yeah, basically, and Vegeta causes some trouble, and then Goku says, "Like, let's go right now. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't need this Goku tournament." Goku gets a little hot, and Vegeta puts her down. Yeah. Okay. Here's what so I'm. So then thinking. she goes, "I need to get stronger. I need to get hit by more trucks." <laughs> Yo, give me some trucks. <laughs> and then, oh, okay, 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 okay. In the gravity chamber. Yes. Okay. Here's that's exactly what I was gonna say. Here's where it's. Here's where I'm coming from. So I want to backtrack just a little bit. The whole thing of this show, of, of the way this show works, is it's always like, like you said, there's always something they can tap into to become stronger and eventually win. And so I want to say, like, during the tournament, she's still never been able to master, like, chi focusing. She's, she's just very mm-hmm. strong. And then the thing that gets her to win is that she finally gets good at energy balls. Like, yes. Because that can be a very cool special effect. Then. The quintessential Kamehameha. Yeah, the Kamehameha. Um, and it's going to look cool. I, I, I don't want to talk about K.O. Ken or any of those moves. No, I just that... want to cut it all down. It's 
Kamehameha. I don't want any moves that don't have a physical, cool, uh, a, a visual, cool-looking vi- thing. A physical wind-up to them. And they do have to shout the name of their move, of course. Obviously. But, okay, so, then to your point, she goes to tournament school. She fights Vegeta. Vegeta kicks her ass. She realizes, I gotta start training to get better. Does Krillin come to tournament with her as, like, her buddy? Does he just get to come visit her? Yeah, yeah. I think it's, like, they get, like, they get to bring, like, some friends to watch or something. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking she meets adult scientist Bulma, played by Marion Cotillard. Yes, and she goes, I have the She's like, I can help you train. I have developed a hyperbolic time chamber that even though you will spend years in there, you will not age, of course. But also, mm-hmm. it is enhanced gravity. And then... And, it, and inside of the time chamber, you can, I got a truck in there. I got a truck. And you can just work on that so truck. I can you just, can just work on that truck for years. I can just derail you with trucks for two years straight. <laughs> Multiple trucks, like trucks inside of trucks, because you can't just hit her, hit her with the same truck over and over, because she's already she stronger than that stronger. Truck. It's got to be bigger, badder bigger, trucks. Bigger, badder trucks. Now, when she's in there getting hit by trucks... I had a, a, a very small idea here, and I'm wondering if we could take it this way or no. But could the gra- are the gravity chambers like illegal? Is she doping, or is this just like a, her way of training and it's totally fine? I think this is like Bulma has invented the only one of those that there is. Okay, yeah, I don't necessarily because because I, I want her to be able to. Do I don't it. want her to cheat. I don't want her to cheat either. Exactly. I want her to be able to use the gravity thing, but I don't want it to get taken away because it's such a ridiculous thing that should should exist. Yeah. So she, yes. Okay. So then she's getting hit by trucks. Is this still called a gravity chamber or is it like the truck chamber? I think, I think it's the hyperbolic gravity time chamber. It's one thing. Featuring now. trucks. Feature with a truck inside of that. There's a trucks inside. Different of it. trucks. Trucks Different on trucks. And, and bigger trucks. Sometimes they put a truck inside of another truck. Yeah. And then the final one. So it's a, it's a montage of just truck hitting recovery, truck hit recovery. So the then, very last one. Okay. Is just a construction wrecking crane. Okay. It seems that just woof. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Each we we could like so she gets she does her first fight and who she can fight, I don't know, Piccolo, and she wins. And yeah, and yeah. she and Piccolo become friends because Piccolo is a cool is a cool Because it's about respect and honor of a warrior. Exactly. Which is deal. And and so Karen Gillen will will nail that performance. Then so basically between each fight she has to do more trucks. Mm-hmm. and um maybe she barely beat so who's gonna be the, the like i don't think is it single elimination is it double elimination because here's what i'm thinking do we nod to the original where it's like she fights and beats vegeta but then she becomes friends with vegeta but vegeta gets beaten by frieza and then goku beats frieza like is frieza gonna be the ultimate champion she has to fight or who's gonna be the ultimate like end villain i like I like being single elimination to minimize the number of fights that are on screen. I agree. To a key interesting point. Now, if we're following the the arc of the show, the ultimate unbeatable thing that only Goku could beat was Majin Buu. That's true. Maybe, we, but I don't think we necessarily have to follow that arc because I do want to play up the Frieza, the Vegeta. Oh, here's what we'll do, Frank. Vegeta and Goku are like ready to fight right and and they're but the the way the bracket fell out they're never going to actually like compete unless they both get to the to the finals but here's what happens see you in the finals see you in the finals but then outside of the tournament arena vegeta gets the shit kicked out of her by frieza and cannot compete anymore yeah nobody knows officially frieza didn't do it and nobody can prove it so frieza gets to stay in the tournament uh, and so then go- it becomes about Goku beating Frieza because for Vegeta because we're friends now. Yes, dude. And it's like you avenge me even though I was mean to you. Yeah, even though I was mean to you. And then like, do you the- want to come get hit by trucks? And Android eighteen will be a very cool like robot who is also Channing Tatum and gorgeous, but also like is a comic relief where it's like I mm-hmm. you humans and I'm smiling too because we're friend happy. Like he he doesn't quite yeah, have a yeah. nail down. Yeah, he just down. has a lot of he has a lot of uh of hilarious random hilarious lines. random lines about being a robot and humans being humans and like and like your fleshy meat meat is soft. So like that fight and then so I mean Cell's gonna be a dick, Majin Buu's gonna be a weirdo, and they're gonna fight and beat them. But like maybe like Android eight 
17, 18, whichever one, 17? Beats, 17. 17 might beat one of them, and then when 17 has to fight Goku, it's just like a friendly fight. Yeah, they go like, like they fight for a while, and then 17 says like, huh, I have calculated, I have calculated that I am able to beat you, and as such, I will, I, I will bow to you. Or, or they're like fighting in Goku, <laughs> oh, like, I've, I've, I have calculated that my chances of winning this fight are approaching zero. I've only been using 19% of my power. Oh, we forgot all about that. We forgot all about that. People that is a trope. People are constantly declaring the exact percentage of their physical strength that they are utilizing. Yes, and that is going to be a thing. At all points. The amount that At we will have throughout all of this. We'll have like a, a a control room maybe. It's not, maybe not necessarily like on a jumbotron that you can see, but I want there to be a room where someone is analyzing their fighting and being like she's got to only be using about 12% of her power. This fight hasn't even gotten started yet. Yeah, yeah. there's just like a running side commentary in this room and then that we keep that we keep cutting to. And then, so then in the Frieza fight, there can be a part where they're like this can't be right. This shows that Goku's only using about 60% of her power, but she's clearly exhausted and tapped out or whatever. And then, of course, Goku is going to go Super Saiyan in the final fight to defeat Frieza, right? We both oh. knew that was going to happen. Yeah, we, we all knew that was going to happen. And then her hair then becomes, goes, her hair becomes goes, blonde. It's 120% of the power. How is that even possible? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of How that. How are you pushing your limits that It's going to be silly and ridiculous. I think we have to revise the numbers. Maybe, like, Frieza, Cell, and Majin Buu all, like, beat up Vegeta or something. Like, they're all, like, kind of in this like evil... Like, villain gang. Yeah, they've got this villain gang where their plan is to, like, if we... The three of us, we just need one of us to win the Dragon Balls, and then we'll make a wish that makes us all rule the world or whatever. Yes. So then it becomes about defeating them. So then Goku teams up with Android 17, who's the only who, one Who left. has access to more trucks. Yeah. So 17 and Goku are the only ones left on the, quote, good, unquote, side because Vegeta's gotten her ass kicked and she's out of commission. We will get a very cool, like, back alley fight scene between Goku and Vegeta, but... Um, but it'll be, like, it'll be like, hmm. It's hmm. never... Yeah. There's never going to be, like, a, 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 a tournament-sanctioned battle between them. Yeah, yeah. So then Android can beat Majin Buu or Cell, I don't care which, and then he's going to lose, and then Goku has to beat them and Frieza. Yeah. Not at the same time, necessarily. Or maybe they do. Yeah. Maybe it's a doubles maybe all battle. At the same time. Maybe the final tournament's a doubles battle, like a battle royale, where it's like, yeah, all yeah. four of you are fighting, you're not necessarily on the same team, so figure out strategy to, like, last the longest. And then Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. I've been hit by so many trucks for this. Yeah, maybe Frieza, like, throws a truck at her that bigger than she's never taken before, because Frieza doesn't know her truck-based training regimen. And Frieza's like, I've defeated you. And she's like, you gave me exactly what I needed. And then her hair turns blonde and it spikes up. And she's like... And she becomes Truckulies. She becomes the biggest... She, she's she got the biggest truck strength that, that ever there has been. I also... I, at the end of the movie, in the after credit scene... In the after credit scene, uh, Goku's gonna find out that any um, anything that, that hurts her when we get stronger and not just trucks. Yeah. <laughs> Android, either Krillin or like Android 17 is going to be like, you know what I just thought of? Like, it didn't have to be trucks. And she's going to be like, what? Oh, you. And then, and then, and then he'll go, ha ha ha. She's going to be like, it didn't, a robot. it didn't have to be trucks? Could have been just anything? Because they could have been shooting her and then she's stronger than guns. Yeah, being stronger than guns is the next movie, I think. Being stronger than missiles and stuff. Yeah, strong, Dra Dragon Ball Z colon stronger, stronger than, than, than guns. guns will be the sequel for sure. Will be the, that's definitely going to be the sequel. Oh, this is good. All right, any final thoughts? I'm good. I'm good, too. This is great. Um, thank you, everybody, so much for listening. If you like the show, please give us a good rating and review on iTunes. That helps us out a whole lot. And if you know anybody who would like the show, please tell your friends. You can find us on Twitter at Rebootleggers and feel free to send us your suggestions there of reboots you'd like to see. Until next time, I'm Scott Owen. I'm Frank Sarah. And Frank, what is our password next week? Our password for next week is Kakarot! <laughs> 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 <laughs>